morning, everyone. Friday Junior, even though it's a Thursday. That's what we like to call it. <laughs> yeah, we love Friday Junior. And we're looking at some wet and windy conditions, Aaron. Yeah, this morning, while we are already beginning to see the rain showers, the windiest weather holds off until the mid-morning and early afternoon. Uh, that is where we're going to begin to see those winds increasing from about uh, 20 to 40 miles per hour, if not some isolated areas in, uh, in some of the higher elevations. Uh, seeing winds gusting upwards of 50 miles per hour. So expect that wet and widespread activity to stay with us uh, for a good portion of our Thursday. The system itself, uh, the parent low back off towards uh, northern parts of the, uh, the Aleutian Islands across the eastern Aleutians. You can see that rain extending out towards southwest Alaska with a bulk of the precip making a return here in south central. We're going to easily see roughly one to three inches of rainfall uh, across the vast majority of the region. Heaviest rainfall will be through Prince William Sound, uh, as well as coastal regions of the Kenai. And along with it, we're also going to see uh, those winds increasing. Now, since midnight, we've seen winds upwards of 20 miles per hour in Wasilla, uh, 30 miles per hour in uh, King Salmon, with the core of the strongest winds uh, across the eastern Aleutians through Cold Bay, as well as King Cove, where we've seen those winds gusting upwards of 60 miles per hour. Now, later today across South Central, uh, we will see those winds gradually increase. The first part of the morning, we're just going to be dealing with those rain showers. You can see through at least 10 a.m., winds gusting uh, anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then as we head through the afternoon and into the heart of the afternoon, that is where we're going to see some of those greatest uh, wind speeds. So watch for the potential for some power outages. Wind shouldn't be as windy as what we saw this past weekend, uh, but we could see some winds beginning to make a run uh, near 40 to 50 miles per hour in some of those higher elevations. So uh, yes, it is going to be a widespread wet and windy across a large portion uh, of South Central. Heaviest rain again will be near the coast uh, as we welcome in the afternoon hours, even though we will see some of this activity lighten up into the evening, uh, the chance for some rain showers carries on into our Friday as well, although there will be, uh, be some dry time built in uh, with each wave of rainfall that we're going to see uh, as we close the door on this month and welcome in your September. So for today, those temperatures warming into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Uh, you can see those winds shifting from the north out of the southeast. Uh, where we're going to see those winds again beginning to increase later this afternoon. F uh, 66 degrees in Fairbanks, 52 in Dead Horse. Uh, we'll see a high of 59 degrees in McGrath. So really the southern half of the state uh, holding on to more of that widespread wet uh, weather as well as the winds and then out towards the Aleutians. Things beginning to improve, but you're still going to hold on uh, to some scattered showers and some breezy winds. Uh, wet and windy across southeast, uh, our south central, 61 degrees in Homer, uh, as well as Soldatna, 57 degrees in Seward. There's those winds uh, shifting from the east to the southeast later today. Two to three inches of rainfall uh, for Prince William Sound. We'll see highs in the mid to upper 50s, uh, if not near 60 degrees through the Copper River Basin. We've got uh, into the valley, those temperatures in the upper 50s along the Parks Highway. Now, as those winds uh, shift out of the southeast, Palmer, and eventually through Wasilla, likely seeing the best potential for those temperatures to warm uh, into the lower 60s, as those are our warming winds. 60 degrees today in Anchorage, 62 tomorrow. So daily highs near 60. Big takeaway for today uh, is that with recent rains, we could see some uh, flooded waterways once again across parts of south central and some power outages. All right, thank you.